you're going to know more about what may happen to you before the doctor needs to treat it than we ever did. I, I'd like to think how Marcus Welby might, uh, <laughs> the, the doctor from uh, the 70s might look at today. AI allows the doctor to reconnect with the patient and practice that way. He was doing it intuitively. Now AI will give him the data to say, how are you doing today? You know, we're, we don't have to worry about this yet, but I want you to be mindful about it. It's going to restore empathy and trust in ways that we kind of got away from in value-based care. Does that make sense too? Oh yeah. And I think that's the thing, again, the observations, just kind of this, uh, this most recent crisis with the family member that I referred to earlier, and you just look at, um, you know, what were the bright spots? What were the low points, you know, and, and kind of what did we experience? Because family member, bring, you know, is brought into the emergency room, spent three days in the emergency room, uh, first, you know, 36 hours in a hallway bed, then into a room in the, the emergency department before getting onto a floor. A lot of different clinician interactions along yep. the way, uh, then at the rehab and then the, you know, the interactions there. So you, there's a lot of, there's a lot of information to process. 